Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you this Friday afternoon from the broadcast booth above the New York Stock Exchange trading floor. And guess what? I'm in a great mood. It's been a crazy week on both Wall Street and for Modern Wall Street. Been very busy, but I can't wait for the weekend, so let's get this report started. It's nearly 4 o'clock. The market's there about to close. You know exactly what time it is, right? It's happy hour and the Big Apple. Now stocks, they're mixed this Friday right behind me here at the Stock Exchange as tensions between the U.S. and China continue to weigh on investor sentiment while both nations, they are continuing negotiations on trade. Now reports have been everywhere as yesterday, Thursday, the two largest economies in the world, they began their second round of trade talks. But President Donald Trump telling reporters that he doubted the negotiations would be successful. Now later, reports began to emerge saying that China would offer the U.S. a $200 billion trade surplus cut. Those reports, however, quickly denied by a Chinese ministry spokesman today. In other words, we still have to wait to find out. Tensions between the U.S. and China increasing in recent months. Both nations hitting each other with tariffs, we all remember that, targeting some of their exports. Meanwhile, in corporate news today, Nordstrom making some headlines, their shares dropping after the Seattle-based retailer reported same-store sales that missed expectations. Now, that miss was enough to overshadow better-than-expected revenue and earnings for the first quarter. While Campbell's soup in the headlines as well as its CEO, Denise Morrison, retired abruptly. And with the combination of all of that, combined with Bank of America saying Netflix will nearly triple its subscriber base to 360 million by the year 2030, let's take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this session and week as well. And with that, kick back, relax. I'll see you guys all Monday morning from Modern Wall Street saying, if you're in the New York City area, the tri-state area, stay dry over the weekend. No sun for you, no sun for me. But Memorial Day is around the weekend, right? That's a little bit of a shine, I think. I'll see you guys all on Monday morning.